For the second night in a row, parents took their concerns about school reassignment plans to Wake County leaders. These parents are passionate. Tonight, more than 150 parents packed into Hortons Creek Elementary. Officials say they need to fix overcrowding and fill four new schools. Colleen Quigley was at the meeting. What are the big concerns, Colleen? All right, so one of the issues last night and tonight that was raised was proximity. So how close are these reassigned schools to where these families live? But tonight, parents also raised concerns about access to academics and extracurriculars at these brand new schools. Leslie Kramer loves her first grader school, Mills Park Elementary, which is connected to her Cameron Pond neighborhood by the Greenway. We bought our house. Our realtor told us about the Greenway, and giving my kids the ability to walk to school was a really, really important thing. But proposed reassignment plans mean Leslie's son will go to Carpenter Elementary next year, which is not along the Greenway. So she and a sea of parents, all decked out in orange, took their concerns to school board members Thursday night at a meeting to discuss the proposal. There would be no way for them to bike, no way for them to walk. The director of student assignment says he hears parents' pleas for schools closer to where they live. Uh, proximity is difficult, especially in this area of the county, because we are limited where we can build schools and we have very dense populations, uh, neighborhoods. Proximity wasn't the only red flag raised, with only ninth and 10th graders attending the new Green Level High School next year. Parents worried what activities and advanced classes will be offered. It's something that my son really enjoys and he really is taken to. Like Cameron Bertolini, whose son is in the Panther Creek marching band. Going to this new school, that's going to be kind of decimated, honestly, that they will not have a program. And even if they have a program, it'll be in the infancy. Now, school board members say they will have a clearer picture of what classes and what activities are going to be at these new schools once they have final reassignment plans and a principal is named. Now, there's going to be several more of these meetings. If you want to attend, we have the full list on CBS17.com.